हरे सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कैट क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड क्या आपको ऐसा लगता है कि कैट का क्वांट बहुत मुश्किल है या कैट के क्वांट को करने के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपर्टीज की रिक्वायरमेंट है नहीं अगर आप ऐसा सोचते हैं तो आप बिल्कुल सही जगह पर हैं ये वीडियो आप ही के लिए है हमारा मानना है कि कैट के क्वांट को कोई भी कर सकता है यस एनी बडी कैन डू इट एंड डू इट इजिली जस्ट लाइक ए बी सी डी ई और इस ए बी सी डी ई सीरीज में आप और हम मिलकर प्रीवियस ईयर कैट एंड अदर एग्जाम्स के क्वेश्चंस को सॉल्व करेंगे इन इजी एंड सिंपल मैनर सो जस्ट कीप वॉचिंग हाय सो वेलकम बैक सो वी हैव दीज टू क्वेश्चंस बिफोर यू एंड बोथ ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चंस आर फ्रॉम कैट टू थाउजेंड एटीन फर्स्ट लोट मॉर्निंग स्लॉट एंड इट इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द टफ कैट टेस्ट इन प्रीवियस मैनी ईयर्स ओके सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फॉरवर्ड आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो और टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस विंडो एंड सॉल्व दिस टू क्वेश्चन ऑन योर ओन बिफोर वी मूव टू द सोल्यूशन ओके सो आई होप यू हैव सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो चलिए पहले इस क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं so uh, this is let x y z be three positive real numbers in a gp i hope you know what is the meaning of a gp gp means aisa sequence jiske andar jo terms hain uh, they are having some common ratio uske andar kuch kuch common number multiply hota ja raha hai so sir that x is less than y is less than z that means jo numbers hain wo badhte ja rahe hain they are going on increasing if they are going on increasing it means what should be the common ratio it's obvious common ratio should be more than 1 right like 1 2 4 and so on if it is decreasing to fir aisa nahi hota to In this case, certainly common ratio is more than one. Okay, so if five x, sixteen y, and twelve z, these three numbers are in AP. Remember, x, y, z, who were they were in GP, but these three numbers, five x, sixteen y, and twelve z, they are to be in AP. So then, common ratio of the GP is. So we have to find that what is going to be the common ratio which satisfies these constraints. First of all, just as we have talked earlier, common ratio should be more than one, right? So before starting with, let the numbers be a, a r, a r square, and then apply these conditions of AP and so on. तो उतना करने की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है सो वॉट इज द इंपॉर्टेंट की पॉइंट टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट यूज ऑप्शन यूज ऑप्शन टू एलिमिनेट योर आंसर चॉइसिस सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन टू एलिमिनेट योर आंसर चॉइसिस ओके सो इन दिस केस that's our learning from this uh, particular question so in this case uh, what should be our answer what should, what can be the option jaisa apne baat kiya ki common ratio should be more than 1 so common ratio should be more than 1 so 3 by 2 is more than 1 it can be the answer 1 by 6 certainly not possible so let's cancel it out 3 by 6 is also less than 1 it is half this cannot be the answer and so answer can be either 3 by 2 or 5 by 2 so let's check these two options so x y there are any numbers uh, which follow gp with common ratio 3 by 2 or 5 by 2 so let me frame such numbers so the numbers three numbers x y z uh, which have a common ratio 3 by 2 so what will be the first number so if i take them to be integers so first number can be 4 Right. Uh, then next number will be what? Three by two of this. It will be six. And next number will be what? Three by two of this. That is nine. Right. But I am looking for five x, sixteen y, and twelve z. That means five times of this number, sixteen times of this number, and twelve times of this number. Whether they are in AP or not. Let's check. So five times of this number is what? It is twenty. Right. And six times sixteen. How much it is? Sixteen to six is ninety-six. Right. And what about this nine times twelve? That is one zero eight. Do you see this number, this sequence as in AP? Do you remember what is AP? AP means that two numbers, any two conjugate numbers, have same difference. But in this case, this difference is too small and this is too big. So this is certainly not the case. So this is certainly not the case. That means I can negate this first option also. So obviously, option number four should be the answer. But let's verify it. Oh, what's the hurry at all? Let's check this case. So if option is five by two, in that case. So what should be my first number? I can take my first number as four. Next number will be five by two of this. So five by two of this is means two point five times of this. That is ten. And next number will be what? Two point five times of this. That is twenty five. Right now again, I need to check five x sixteen y and twelve z whether they are in AP or not. So five times of this number is what? Twenty. And ten times sixteen that is one sixty. Right, this gap is one forty. So I just need to see whether the next number is at a gap of one forty or not. Okay, so twenty five times twelve that is three hundred, 
and this is a gap of 140 yes so this is our answer that we have already concluded also so this is our answer right so the learning from this question was use options to eliminate your answer choices it is not necessary to solve the entire question right let's move to this next question now this says if u square plus u minus 2v minus 1 whole square is equal to minus 4u uh, 4v times u plus v then what is the value of u plus 3v it's looking like a tough question or it's going to be lengthy i need to solve it uh, everything and uh, i need to find the value of u plus 3v u uh, 1 these are the four options given so can i use options here certainly not so what will i do with the options here so whenever i see expression like this what should come in my mind the key point your key thing to learn from here is that we need to try to complete the square so that's the important learning from this question that complete the square that should be our target while solving questions like this completing the square or complete square i'm writing it in short okay so in this case if i complete square what can we do what can be done uh, either i'm going to expand this and then simplify this that's going to be too big if i need to complete the square so this term is already a square isn't it so i just need to see for this term agar main is term ko yahan le aata hu so and what is going to happen so let me write this so it is going to be u square and this negative term is going to be positive when i come uh, i bring this term in this side so it is uh, it will become this plus 4 v u and this plus 4 v square right and beside that i have already a perfect square it is u minus 2 v minus 1 whole square and that becomes equal to 0 right now uh, just see this term do you see whether it is a square or something yes it is u square this is 2v whole square and this is 2 times u into 2v right so that means this expression is also a perfect square that's what we were looking for it is simply u plus 2v whole square plus u minus 2v minus 1 whole square we haven't changed this expression at all it was as it is and this sum is equal to 0 now think uh, how can the square of two numbers the their sum can be equal to 0 certainly both of them must be individually zero zero that means this u plus 2v so u plus 2v is equal to zero and also this u minus 2v minus 1 is equal to zero i can simplify them and get my answer but still wait it is not necessary because u plus 2v is zero what i want you to find out i want you to find out the value of this u plus 3v u plus 3v u plus 2v is already zero that means i need to only find the value of the remaining v isn't it because this u plus 3v is u plus 2v plus v right and this u plus 2v is already zero so i just need to find the value of this v okay so how to find the value of v okay let's come to this part now this u minus 2v minus 1 is is equal to 1 that mean and uh, i know that this u is equal to minus 2v if i just put the value of u is equal to minus 2v in this equation i'm going to get my answer let's check so if i put it here so it is going to become uh, let me use this color different color so this is going to become this minus 2v minus 2v minus 1 equals to 0 that means minus 4v Minus one equals to zero, or I can say minus four v is equal to one, or I can say v is equal to minus one by four, and that's what I am looking for. So this is my answer to this question. That means it is not necessary to do the whole lengthy calculations; just complete the square and do it easily. Thank you. Mm -hmm.